On Focus today, we look at renewed interest among Nigerian banks to go for majors and acquisition. My guest today is Charles Fadroka Adila from Foresight Securities. Charles, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. News came early in the week that uh, Access Bank and Diamond Bank are looking up to acquisitions and major deals. Of course, the two banks had denied, but uh, information also coming from the regulatory agencies say that they are aware of that uh, transactions and it is good for the industry. What do you make of this? Well, thank you very much. Um, yes, when we have this kind of issues in the market, it calls for concern because the information that gets to the market informs investors' decision. So we want this information to be authentic. We want this information to be real. Like you have said, the two banks have denied those their discussions. But um, for any layman, you will know that when there is a little element of truth in any rumor. So how we believe maybe those talks are going on underground. And at the appropriate time, I believe, the, to the parties concerned would definitely go in to tell us what has happened. And moving forward, I think if any particular institution, a bank, is having issues, and there's another institution that is willing to take it over and, you know, move it forward for the benefit of the economy, for shareholders, for investors, I think it's a good development. So the banks involved or the institutions involved should not shy away from it. The essence is to protect investors and the economy at large. But must it always be that, uh, uh, you know, institutions have to tell lies and deny issues? Why can't you say, yes, we are into it and it is good for, for what we are doing? You know, the both institutions work, operate in a regulated environment, industry. And before you come out with such information, you must be sure that all the T's have been crossed, the I's have been dotted, and when you are sending that information to the market, you are very sure everything is concluded. So I'm sure maybe that is why these denials are coming one way or the other. But I'm, 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 I'm optimistic at the end of the day, we'll get the true picture of what is going on. Is there a crisis in the Nigerian banking industry? Are the banks having problems? that we should worry about? Of course, I would say there are challenges in every sector of the economy. The banking sector is not an exception, or the financial service industry as a whole is not an exception. These challenges and crises have been there. It's only left for the operators to come out with strategies and means to adapt to these challenges and crises and move forward. You cannot have a smooth, plain environment for the economy. Challenges must be there, but for the operators, they should devise strategy to withstand these um, challenges and move forward and, of course, declare good um, dividend because the investors want to get a return from their investment despite the harsh economic environment you're operating. So for any institution that operates in this economy, you should expect these kind of challenges here and there. When we think of what happened to former Skybank, now uh, Polar is uh, taking over, um, again, investors, you know, in that particular institution, I, I, I don't know. What position do you think uh, shareholders of uh, the two entities may, you know, adopt? That's um, the Access Bank and yeah, the Diamond yeah. Bank. This information conflicting. And we are seeing a negative reaction. As we speak, the price of Diamond is already nosediving. Because the average investor wants a clearer picture of what is going on. And if this information is not being, is not coming out as I went you, and it's not clear, it's not even timely, of course investors will react. And that's what we are saying now. I would just advise that the regulators should come out quickly and begin to address the market so that the average investor is aware and knows what is going on so that they can take timely and wise decision. But do you see banking stocks being so attractive to investors considering the bashings that they have gotten, especially the recent one in uh, Skybank? Yes, um, of course, investors are a little bit um, scared. You can't put your investment and at the end of the day, on a Friday and on a Monday, you are told your investment is uh, gone. Every rational investor will become a little bit uh, afraid. And 
that's what we're even saying. So most of the large volume you see in the banking sector is as a result of investors trying to reduce their exposure to this uh, banking stock. If, uh, as an investor, if I have a large uh, quantity of, uh, let's say, Dabon Bank, with due respect to them, of course, I want to reduce my exposure. And you begin to see sell, sell going on. And that's what we're experiencing this week. The offer in terms of Diamond Bank, we're having over 100 million offer. And there is no bid. That is what brokers will tell you. Diamond Bank stock is on full offer. So you can now see that investors are already reacting based on the conflicting information that is getting to the market. You are a stockbroker and a market participant. From your hindsight, would you say that Nigerian banks are really well managed? Well, um, like I've said earlier, every sector has its own challenge. The banking sector, financial service sector has its own peculiar challenge. There are issues of corporate governance. There are issues of uh, investors' confidence. There are so many issues. Particularly, I will tell you, it is corporate governance. And that is why the regulators, whether SEC, CBN, NICOM, they are trying to do all they can to ensure that all companies operating in our economy adhere to strict corporate governance and code of ethics for performance. If we don't have that in place, we are going to continue to have these kind of occurrences on and on and on. So I will employ the regulators, the operators, especially the regulators, to emphasize and make it even mandatory for these institutions operated in our economy to adhere strictly to sound good principles of corporate governance and code of ethics. Let's leave it there. Thanks for coming on this show. Thank you for having me. My guest has been Charles Fakroga, a dealer from Foresight Securities, and we've been looking at measures and acquisition arrangements that are likely to hit the Nigerian banking subsector again. <laughs> But that's all we have for you on Business Week. I'll leave you with the graphics of the commodities market. I am Tolu Lokwe Ogunjobi. Join us again next time for a fresh edition. Enjoy your weekend.